Hello, Rail fans. Welcome to French Fried Trains. It's Thursday, January 14th, 2021, just after sunrise. We were at Washington Street all of five minutes before this awesome consist arrived. Check it out, seven locomotives on this southbound manifest. There's a lot to unpack here, so we're gonna look at screenshots while we do it. Leading, we have an AC44C6M, followed by an ES44AC, and then an SD70AC. Next up, we have a GP33 Eco, and its road slug unit, followed by an SD60E, originally built for the Chicago Northwestern, and an ES44 DC, originally built as an ES40 DC. These special Green Stripe Eco locomotives are made to comply with Tier 3 environmental emission standards. These particular ones were funded in part by the Federal Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Improvement Program. Modifications to make the locomotive Tier 3 compliant included all new prime mover and alternator, new air brake system, completely new electronics, and on the outside the flared radiator vents at the back, among other things. It is partnered with a road slug to increase its tractive effort without increasing its emissions. An awesome catch. As awesome of a catch as this was, unfortunately it was right after sunrise, so we're still in the shadow and that makes the shot dark and blurry. This manifest was kind of long, so we're going to skip to the end. And there goes the end of the train. About 15 minutes later, we were in luck. A northbound CSX train was coming. Dual EMD locomotives lead this manifest train. A pair of old SD42s, the leader an ex Conrail unit, as evidenced by its headlight above the cab, CSX orders theirs on the nose, and the trailing unit originally built for the seaboard coastline. This was probably J782, heading north out of Cincinnati. This green covered hopper has seen better days.
Some interesting graffiti on that tank car. This tank car on the rear has a neon do not load sticker on it. It will need to be returned to a shop and repaired before it will be safe to load. And then, not 10 minutes after he passed, another northbound was coming up right behind. Check that out. Double AC 44 CWs, both in the old YN2 paint scheme, and both of them really clean for old YN2 locomotives. The leader was originally built in 1992 in the trailing unit in 1995. By now, the sun was starting to get higher in the sky and shine through the overpasses above us. These auto rag trains have been really long lately, so we're going to skip ahead again. After this one passed, traffic died down for about an hour to an hour and a half before we saw anything else. But finally, another train was coming. Another awesome catch with dual EMD power. Again, we have a pair of SD42s. The leader originally built for the Conrail and the trailing unit originally built for the CNO. This was J783, the southbound counterpart trade to the 782 we saw earlier. And by now, we were finally getting to a point in the day where the sunlight was actually on the train. Check out this old blue one. You can barely make out the Pillsbury logo on it. and a big cut of tanker cars bring up the rear. And there goes the end of this train. After that, we were in luck. The signal went lunar. We had another southbound coming right behind. A pair of 
much more modern locomotives on this one. Dual ET44AHs, leading a southbound auto rack train. There was nothing too spectacular about this train. A car with floor-to-ceiling graffiti. And another. This one has a Jawa from Star Wars painted on it. And check out the skull on this one. Another skull here on this one. And eventually, eight minutes later, we reach the end of the train with a graffitied up Conrail car. After he passed, we had a lunar signal again. There was a third southbound coming. Another auto rack train, led by a pair of AC44 CWs, the trailing unit in Y and 2 paint and very dirty. The leader was built in 2002 and the trailing unit in 1995, which explains the difference in their paint. We'll go ahead and leave this train intact to fill out the rest of the video. And check it out, an old Chicago Northwestern auto rack. I haven't seen one of them in quite some time. This old Conrail car has a patch job on it.
Well, folks, that's all for this episode of French Fried Trains. Stay tuned, because there's plenty more where that came from. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone stay safe out there.